What's up, bro? How you doing, brother? Bless. All right. How about you? Good, good, man. Good, good. So, so tell me a little bit about Andre and Galloway. Okay, well, Andre is my governor. Andre Galloway is my governor, man. Um, everybody even called me Dream Galloway. So, it stuck, so I ran with it. So, who's the MC and who is the regular, regular day person? The everyday person is Andre. The MC is Galloway. Uh, it's, it's, it's my real name, so, you know, I just, I, I felt like it was unique. I never met another gal. Yeah, it definitely is unique. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. so tell, me, tell me about this, you know, the music thing. Get with it, get started with hip hop. How did you come into it? Oh, well, I, well my, my father was from down south, so he came to Baltimore, met my mom, they got married, had my sister and I. My mother's sister, my aunt, lived close by. So I really grew up with my cousins. Shout out to Evie, Bobby, Robin, and Jim. So I spent a lot of time over there. And one day I was over there, and my cousin Bobby played one damn city. And that was it. When I heard them guys up, I, I was blown away. I fell in love with them. Any particular song about Run DMC? Suck Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's my joint too, man. Yeah. Uh, I was young, maybe 10, 11, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, so from there, did you decide you want to be like a hip hop group or anything? As, absolutely. I, I, I started writing my little notebook and trying to come up with stuff. My childhood friend, Cole, shout out to Blackface. He encouraged me. He was, he, he was a big supporter, and his time went on. My man, Tony. He was a support as well. Shout out to Hendo. You know, I was just doing my thing. Sort of kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. So you yeah. Grew, up, you grew up in the city. Absolutely. I grew up in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. What part of the city? East side, West side? East Baltimore. East Baltimore. But it's funny you mention that because eventually I went to West Baltimore where I met Pork Chop, JP, Jonathan, J. Dante. What's up, bro? What's up, Dante? And um, from there, I met my man Lo, you know, yeah, and, and he was a rapper too, R.I.P. Lo, but yeah, that was my guy, yeah. Yeah, so y'all ended up forming a group. Yeah, we formed a group, which was all him, it's, it's called Black Tongue. So his influence was more like De La Soul, Tribe Called Quest, the Native Tongues, I was more like Big Daddy Kane. Rock Kim, G Rap. We kind of try to merge those two together to create our own sound. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. And that's where we came up with the name Black Tongue. That's dope. Now they play like Native Tongue. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So y'all blended the, the street with that Afrocentric style. Absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. Okay. Our own social commentary. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So y'all put out, you know, any albums? We did. We put out two albums. We put out an album called Preamble to the Game, where Damon Mars Beast did the production all for the album. Um, also, we put out um, Divine Intervention, Alpha Process back then. We saw Rockefeller and, and, and uh, No Limit, Cash Money, you know, create these labels. So we were trying to mimic that. And we were, because we felt like we were getting older. We didn't know how long, I mean, back then, it was an expiration date. You almost felt like milk. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? So we brought out people, you know, in the surrounding area and try to push them further. Okay. Um, on both of those projects, we did the final mix down at the Architect Studio. Shout out to Mike McIntosh and Naja. What's up, fellas? Uh, we did all of the pre-production though at Dames. Okay. Yeah. Right. Amaj Beats. Nice. Yeah. So what about Future, you know, did you, uh, you, you know, did y'all stay together and work together after those two albums or what happened? The money ran out. Uh, when we first started working, I already had a son. And then in the middle of the second project, I had another one on the way. So, 
money ran out. You know, we, we had to pay bills, so we went our own separate way. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So where where we are today is Galloway, an artist. Mm-hmm. So you are you know you doing anything now? It's funny you mentioned that. So as time went on, I was doing my thing, and I reconnected with Dane through work. We worked at the same job at the time. And we had a conversation in, in the wrestling's history. I wasn't going to move back into the game, you know, or do any music. But I was a little reluctant, you know, because now I'm even older. You know, but I, 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 I found my, my voice. So, yeah. So how do you feel about music now, you know, at the age you're at, you know, in, in the game? How do you feel about how things are now? I love the way things are now because you have so many different people from all walks of life that I may not have heard of back then because of social media. So I like that aspect of it. So I, I, I truly feel like it's, it's stuff out there for everyone. Everybody, all age groups, right. you know, is, is easily accessible. Right. You know what I mean? So I like that part of it. So do you feel like you still fit in with, with what's going on right now? I feel like there's an audience for me out here right now, you know. Right. I, I, I feel like, you know, I'm not doing what I guess you should say that, you know, the, the people right now, the young guys that today are doing, but it's definitely an a, a audience, yeah. you know, and, and, and thanks to people like a Nas and the whole, you know, or even a Chaos One, you know, that's constantly out here making music, yeah. you know, that our audience still exists. So, you know. So you got any future, future work coming, you know, any albums or singles or anything? Absolutely. I have a single out called um, Schedules. Check it out. Schedules by Galloway. Um, it's on YouTube, all platforms. The video that is, is on YouTube, all platforms out right now. So tell me a little bit more about this song, Schedules. What is it exactly it's about? Schedules to me is, is, is the every man or woman song. You, you, you go to work every day. And, 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 and sometimes you have to have these conversations with yourself, you know, and, and I felt like that's what the song really was, me doing, having a conversation with myself, saying all of this is purposeful. You doing this for the greater good. You gonna have your ups and your downs, but ultimately you stay focused and work on what you need to work on to prosper. Like that, right? We need more music like that out here. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you shot a video for it? Absolutely. Yeah, I shot a video for it. My man Dane, my mom's beats, shot the video. Rowdy, what's up, bro? He did the editing. And it was all filmed in Baltimore, downtown Baltimore. So let's take a look at it for that in itself, you know, get to see Baltimore close up in person. Okay. Yeah. Right. So any, uh, you know, albums dropping, any singles or anything outside of schedules? Yes, yes. Uh, we're dropping a mixtape called Disposable Entertainment. Uh, and then early 2022, we're going to drop an EP. Nice. So, okay. so stay tuned for Disposable Entertainment. And tell me a little bit more about this title, Disposable Entertainment. How did you come up with that? I feel like today, the way people digest content, they, they, they digest it quicker now more than ever. You know what I mean? And, and if the uh, influencers, don't give it that nod. Sometimes it can get overlooked, whatever it is, you know. So I feel like this is, it can be di- disposable, you know. It can be disposable entertainment, you know, and with the whole album the new. Uh, you got any specific songs on there that's your favorite? Absolutely, Old Bay Seasoning. I have an older Baltimore, you know, I, I talk about my city. You know, or, or my thoughts on how the city may be, you know, you know, may see me, right. you know, in my own mind, you know, okay. yeah. Right. So, tell the people, where can they find you at on social media? Uh, Mr. Galloway, M-I-S-T-E-R-R, 
Galloway on everything. Instagram, YouTube, etc. Right. Yeah. Looking forward to hearing this music. Absolutely. 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 Thanks for your time, brother. Likewise. Likewise.